Well, if you like coffee and if you like dancing and if you like music, there is an event coming up that is the perfect one for you. I have with us Mike Lewis. Now, Mike and I, you, we go way back. Yeah, well, I don't know way back, but we go back to <laughs> Yeah, I I uh, actually uh, knew you and met you when you were a TV meteorologist uh, there yeah. at, uh, in South uh, Fox 28. Yeah, Fox 28. So I was working as a meteorologist with the National Weather Service at the time, and uh, we crossed paths and, <laughs> and worked together very closely. And it was a, a great a great working relationship. And and Absolutely. now I'm excited that you're you're here now in this this great great program you have there with Experience Michigan and I'm well, just we're, we're so excited to have you and you have got to tell us more about this event this is the third year you guys have been doing is it Java Jive and Pi okay I have to tell you all of that sounds fantastic and putting it all together is genius well <laughs> wasn't my genius but uh, we we all brainstorm and you know what happens when you brainstorm you know, it can be a, a flood of ideas or a complete drought. And this was one of those floods of ideas. Uh, Java, Jive, and Pi. So what, what can go what can go wrong, right? You've got Java, coffee, never never a bad situation. You got Jive, we've got some great musicians lined up. And Pi, we've got a, a local pie uh, maker, baker here in, uh, in the North Webster area. Dan Bauer is making the pies for our event. Oh, fresh, homemade, home baked pies, a whole variety of different pies. We also have we'll have what we call uh, finger food. They call it charcuterie. Uh, we're yes. making really highfalutin here, so uh, uh, we have some charcuterie. And the whole theme this year is uh, get your kicks on Route sixty six. Oh, so like 40s, 50s style? Absolutely. 40s and 50s, really kind of the heyday for Route 66. Uh, America was wanting to get up and move after the war and very busy during the baby boom year, you know, traveling back and forth on, on Route 66. A lot of nostalgia. So that's what we're doing. We're going to bring nostalgia to the dance floor, and we want people to show up and, and just kick up their heels. We've got um, Java. Uh, that'll keep you all energized. We got pie. <laughs> you can't go wrong with pie. And we've got jive. We're going to be singing. We've got a, a great uh, jazz quartet that's going to be performing with us. Oh, that's great. Yeah. And there's a dance floor. There's a dance floor. So we're going to have people up on their feet, I'm hoping. So we need to get our dancing shoes on for this. So are our costumes encouraged? Absolutely. Dress the part. Now, I'm wearing my purple shirt. This was my purple shirt from last year. Uh, this year, we're going with uh, kind of a pastel, narrow tie, uh, kind of jazzy look to it. So we've got some uh, lounge singing type uh, 50s, 40s, 50s vibe going on. I love it. I love it. And so for those who don't know, this event itself is actually benefiting an organization. Tell us more about what you guys do. So we started this Java Jive and Pi three years ago with the understanding that as an organization, we have a program, classic arts programs here in the Warsaw area. And this has been going on for 40 years. We've had this classic arts programs running 40 years. And basically it started out as a singing group, bringing the community together to do vocal performances. And it has grown. We have a wonderful director, uh, we have a wonderful board, but you know, the reality is it takes money and it yes. takes a, a lot of um, commitment and a lot of blood, sweat and tears to bring performances to the forefront. Uh, we do uh, a Christmas concert every year with- the, Oh, fantastic. The, yeah, and then we also do a spring concert where we uh, introduce songs that our members of the choir have brought forward that they want to sing. So we have our spring concert uh, with our, our songs picked by and favorites of the choral members. We also then have Java Jive and Pie. And I would be remiss if I didn't say, we also have a youth chorale. And the youth chorale is for K through 12. Uh, okay. We have a preparatory academy for K through 
uh, kindergarten through about third grade, they learn rhythm and basic note reading. And then from grade three to 12, they sing. And we have a, so we're trying to support our youth. We have a preparatory <laughs> academy. We have our adult singers. And then we also have a wonderful music director and our leadership uh, of, of the music programs themselves who bring in talent from across the globe, well, really across the United States. Um, we have all these musicians that come in and support us. Uh, That's and amazing. Case, and yeah, you, I mean, you guys do wonderful things. This is all based in the Warsaw community. And talk a little bit more about why it's important to uh, utilize the performing arts in the Warsaw community and what the organization does for that. Well, you know, th there's all kinds of opportunities to perform. Uh, you know, most of us that are in the choir sing in our churches. We have church choirs. Uh, we all, uh, a lot of the kids in high school performed in high school. So they, they, you know, they have their music programs at high school. What we bring is a slightly different uh, approach to this is let's learn a broad spectrum of music and challenge ourselves to do something different. So mm. we do not only secular music, but we do a lot of um, actual um, sacred music and in multiple languages. And so oh, we're, cool. we're, yeah, so we're trying to bring arts down into the community and also make the, the community more aware of other languages, other sounds, and other ways to praise and, and uh, nurture the soul, as it were. I love it. Yeah, so it's really been a great, uh, a great opportunity. Uh, again, 40 years is a testament to the fact that there is a need for this type of thing. Is that, that's how long you guys have been around for, 40 years? 40 years, the, the community arts program. We've gone through different namings and different uh -huh. iterations, but it always has been focused on vocal performance uh, and improving and presenting to the community the arts in a manner that may not necessarily be what they have experienced before. I love that. I love that. So for the event itself that you guys are having, the Java Jive and Pie, when is it happening and how can people get their tickets for it? You know, it's, it's happening really quick here. It's going to be February 24th. It's a Saturday night. Uh, our first one was actually, we were fortunate, it was on Thanksgiving. Or not Thanksgiving, on, I said Thanksgiving. It's on Valentine's Day. You know, Valentine's Day. So our ah. first one was on Valentine's Day. And then uh, we just found that there was so much conflict with Valentine's Day. Sure. So we've kind of moved it a little later. It gave us a couple more weeks of rehearsal time, too. Uh, so you can visit our website. It's uh, classicartsprogram.com slash tickets. And that's how you can get there. We also have a Facebook page with all kinds of information. If you look for classic arts programs on our Facebook, uh, you can find all kinds of little backstories of our different performers that are, oh, are going to be performing. Uh, tickets are $25 per person. Oh, great. And if you want, you can buy a table for $175. And that's okay. a table of eight. Okay, so it's a great opportunity to bring your friends or your business friends, uh, your family to come on out and enjoy some wonderful music. There's going to be food. I think there's even a silent auction. We will. We have a silent auction. We have numerous donations of from our community uh, supporters, our, our sponsors and businesses. Uh, we've got a cabin rental or a cabin for uh, four oh. days down in Tennessee. Uh, we've got hot air balloon uh, ride. So if you want to bid on a hot air balloon <laughs> ride. How fun. <laughs> uh, we've got a helicopter ride. So we're going to have a helicopter ride up for auction. I don't know. We have a whole bunch of stuff. And awesome. It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. And, and really, it's for a good cause. We're, we're really trying to um, build our program so that we can bring the little kids with our preparatory academy into the choral group for our young children. And once they graduate from our youth program, they can come and join us in the adult program. Uh, and I then, love it. And I, I just, I love what you're doing. You know, uh, the fine arts themselves just give everyone more confidence. If you haven't ever participated in fine arts before, I mean, it really is a starting point for so many of us. Isn't that so true? You know, and we think about, uh, you know, science, technology, and, and engineering, and math. We heard of the STEM. And, and I always say, 
it's the arts. If you put the arts in there, you've got steam. <laughs> and right there you go, steam, bark. <laughs> but steam, <laughs> steam is energy, energy. And I think the arts brings energy to the actual uh, life that we live. Awesome. I love it. Well, thank you so much, Mike, for talking with us. Lots of luck for your event coming up. I hope everyone grabs your tickets. Uh, they are limited quantity, I'm assuming. Yeah, we've got a limited space. We're going to be in a new venue this year. Um, it's a newly renovated Zimmer Biomet uh, Center Art Central Park Pavilion. Boy, I'll tell you. Uh, so it's a nicely renovated. It's going to be a nice space for us. Um, but we have a limited space. So we're, we're hoping we can fill it, though. Awesome. Well, good luck to you. And uh, it sounds like a fabulous event. I hope everyone comes out and supports our community arts. Have some coffee. Have some pie. And do a little jive. I love it. <laughs>